The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. And good morning to you. You're listening to the Big Dog, WIFO, 105.5 FM and Jessup Butch Hubbard here with you along Bob Morgan. Here we are on a Tuesday morning, the very last day of April, April 30th, 2019. And Bob, how are you doing? Good. You doing good? Good. Waiting for Thursday. Waiting for Thursday, the playoff game, second round, the state playoff, taking on Thomas County Central. Is that how you say it, Thomas County Central? Thomas, Thomas County Central. Thomas. They're All the right. Yellow Jackets, too. Yellow Jackets against Yellow Jackets. Yeah, Yellow Jackets, Yellow Jackets, and that'll be on Thursday. But we got several guests in the studio with us this morning. we got some out in the green room. we got uh, Bruce and Kevin in here this morning from uh, the bait shop. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, bud. Good morning, everybody out there in Radio Land. How are you doing? I'm Doing very good. Tonight. Very good, very good. Now, so you got your camouflage on this morning. Ready. Ready for it. You got the all you uh, the bait shop, the bait shop located on the Savannah Highway here in Jessup, just past the Jessup Drive in on the right hand side, adjacent to twice the ice. And of course they've got all the live bait that you can need if you can think of it, they've got it. And, of course, they got tackle and the advice to help you catch the biggins out there in the mostens. But you got a fishing tournament coming up. Uh, tell us about it, Kevin. Yes, sir. we got one coming up, limb line tournament only, the fourth and the fifth. The limb line. Limb line only. That's right. Hang those hooks off the limbs. Hang them off the limb and hope for the best. Okay. We are going to have an alternate way in sight with the river being up like it is on the river bridge. It's Gonna look like it's gonna have to be at Morgan Lake this time to weigh in. Okay, so yeah, the river level live yeah, the river level right now is at nine point five feet, uh, going up to around ten feet, gonna crest. So gonna crest, yeah, yeah, gonna crest around ten feet. So still on up there, and so um, folks, you tell folks out there how they can uh, participate in this limb line catfish tournament. Come on, Bruce. Yeah, wake up over there. Get close to the mic there, please. Bring that Come mic on. out to you. Bring it on out. There you go. Get close to it. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> All right, Bruce. Uh, Bruce is the one who actually uh, runs the store most of the time. Uh, uh, Kevin just sits back and watches and makes sure he does the, a good job. Is that right, Kevin? I got to be the boss. <laughs> 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 that's, that's probably the way that my staff around here would say, yeah, you got much. You don't do doggone anything, buddy. <laughs> well, somebody's got to be in the ball. Somebody's right? got to be in the ball. Yeah, it all rolls downhill. You know, it all rolls right. downhill. Okay. So, Bruce, uh, 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 what were we talking about anyway? Talking about the tournament. Oh, the tournament. All right, go. Talk about the tournament. I'm just hoping the water don't get up too high. All right. Yes, well, you know, the fish the fish got to get hungry anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I, you've got a bait shop cap on. He's got one that's like lime bright green. You've got a pink one on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Real men wear pink. Is that what it is? Yeah. Don't yeah. let the hat fool you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I just, I liked it when I seen it. I said, well, it's, I, I kind of, uh, it's like a, it is pink. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's don't get around. Let's don't try to start calling this another uh, color here. Yeah. But, yeah, I like the bait shop caps there. you got the bait shop logo on the front, but it's the mesh around the back that keeps the head cooler there when you're out there outside so you can your head gets some breathing uh, on it. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, I mean, if, uh, like on the tournament, if you're going to weigh in, we'll be at Morgan Lake under the trussle right there. Under uh, the trestle at Morgan Lake over yes, there in Long sir. County. What they call that, the, oh, that's the WMA landing. Yeah, the WMA. Uh, I will. I'll have signs up where they'll know where to how to get to us for the people that doesn't know how to get in there. Okay, so the tournament begins when? Twelve o'clock Saturday to twelve o'clock Sunday. All right, twelve Fourth to and twelve. The fifth. Okay, uh, this coming Saturday and Sunday. So yes, starting sir. at noon on Saturday till noon on Sunday, and then you go to Morgan Lake there at the way in. And you'll have uh, prizes for what divisions and yes, all the different kind we, of prizes. Tell I us. think first place is 50%, second place is 20 and uh, third is 10%. Okay. And then on the big fish pot, it, it'll be $10 on the, whoever catches per the big angler. fish per, per angler. angler. And, and then 100%. Whoever, whoever gets the biggest fish <clears throat> gets the whole pot. There's also a $150 prize for the children's biggest fish, too. Okay. Right? 
under 16, children under 16. So folks will get out there on Saturday around noon, go out there and put out their, their yeah. lines on the limbs. And the, what do you, what's the official, what do you call that? Um, I call it bush hook. Bush hook. That's, I mean, that's what yeah. I've heard of it. Just want to make sure that's what y'all say. That's what bush I Bush hook and just put it down there. And we talked about it before. People, they uh, they fish at different uh, depths. Some will go down close to the bottom. Some will be up a little bit. They're trying to find where those fish are feeding, right? That's right. you got to figure out where they're feeding. Okay. <clears throat> With this water coming out, a lot of them going to be fishing where the water's starting to break out of the river. And catfish will sit there and wait on those bait fish. Right. Okay. Even, little, though little the water's up, the there. even though the water's up, they can still be caught. <laughs> yeah, all those, no doubt about that. They still got to eat. Oh, yes. Yeah. You got to eat like us. That's right. And just got to figure where they are. They but change you their gotta feeding. Find That's right. They change their feeding right. patterns. All right. So the bait shop located here in Jessup on the Savannah Highway just past the uh, Jessup Drive-In. If you get to the railroad track, it's going towards. Rainier, you've gone too far. So just past the Jessup Drive in on the right hand side, you'll see twice the ice and you'll see the bait shop there. They are your complete bait shop with everything that you need. And they've got a fishing tournament coming up this weekend, a limb line tournament. And how many lines can they have out? Thirteen per boat. And how many people on a boat? As many as you want. As many as it legally carries. As legally yeah. it carries, just as Whatever so 13 per is. boat. 13 per boat. Okay. And so how do we <clears throat> enter this fishing tournament, Kevin? Sign up at the bait shop between now and 11 o'clock Saturday. Okay. And the hours of the bait shop is? From 6 to 6. 6 to 6. Well, we talked about that last week. It's, Which, when, it's whenever Bruce shows up in the morning. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and after this tournament, we will be extending our hours on out later because of the, the evenings are being longer and people getting right. off. So we're going to start leaving it open a little bit later after okay. this tournament. Okay. So uh, it sounds good. Everyone sign up uh, for the uh, for the Bush Hook uh, Limb Line Catfish Tournament coming up this weekend, Saturday from noon to Sunday at noon. And weigh in will be at Morgan Lake. And you can go by and uh, register at the bait shop. What's the official address of the bait shop? 4074 Savannah Highway. 4074 Savannah Highway. Yes, sir. Okay. 4074 uh, Savannah Highway here in Jessup. I, go I, ahead, everybody Bruce. that's, you know, going to be in the tournament, I just want everybody to be safe, you know, be have courteous. Have a good time. People, have a good time. And uh, thank you for working with us, out here, working the bugs out of the shop, you know, not – Sometimes we got to close to go do some things, but I said I'm, you know, I appreciate everybody support. coming out and working with us. I, I really appreciate the support we've had so far. It's, yeah. it's people have really supported us. Well, good, good. The bait shop on Savannah Highway here in Jessup, right next to Twice the Ice, past the Jessup Drive In. Get all your live bait and tackle right there. Plus, they've got the advice. Both of these guys are avid fishermen, and so they can help you find the, uh, the right spot. Not their good spots, but they'll help you find another good spot. <laughs> no, no, no. Not my secret spots. That is, that's where a fisherman might lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, all fishermen are, are totally honest. Totally the they, don't, they don't lie. Yeah, they totally. don't. They no, don't. Mm -mm. Yeah, they believe it themselves. <laughs> I was like somebody the other day asked me and said, uh, well, you ain't going to tell nobody they ain't catching no fish anyway. You want to sell bait? I said, no, I'm not really like that. I said, I'd love to sell you bait, but I can kind of tell you today I ain't had a good report today, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people been catching they, fish on this There's a lot of fish being caught. Go, oh, yeah. Going up under these willows and fishing. Yeah, and we want to say, when you go up under those willows and under those limbs, beat them first because there's going to be moccasins you, up there sunny you, trying to get a pan. If you can yep. smell fish, you need to be looking for them. <laughs> That's right. Fish are on the bed right now. All right. All right, gentlemen. Good luck with the tournament. Thank you very much. And we've got a bunch of guys out there. Mr. Wayne County... Uh, um, Pageant? We would call it that? I, competition? Comp let's call let's it competition. competition. Let's don't call it a pageant, okay? There's some, big, there's some big guys out there. Hey, look, look. <laughs> most of them wearing guns. Yeah, yeah, most, yeah, most of them <laughs> wearing guns. So yeah, nice. law enforcement, so <laughs> we got to be nice to those guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Thank All you, right. and y'all have a good right. day. More of the world famous Pitch and Bob show coming up in a minute. Wayne Memorial Hospital Solutions.
dozens of volunteers as we close out the month of April, National Volunteer Month. The hospital volunteers just gave 14,550 hours of their valuable time this past year at our facility. According to the independent sector, these hours tally more than 370,000 donated in labor. When added to the volunteers' 27,000 cash donation to the new cancer center, their contribution this year to the hospital is $397,000. We're proud of every volunteer that greets you at the front desk, gift shop, or thrift store, or those that transport patients, lab samples for the cancer center, help families in the ICU or surgery waiting area, or the work behind the scenes in the office. This is Doc Coleman, president of the Volunteer Board. Please join me in recognizing this special group during the National Volunteer Month. And if you'd like to join our team as a volunteer, we'd love to visit with you. Wayne Memorial Hospital, caring for the community. WIFO 105.5 FM and Jess at Big Dog Country Radio. We'll continue on with the world famous Butch and Bob show. And Bob, you're not going to talk? I was going to introduce Shelby. Go ahead. Give, give Go Shelby ahead. Introduce, introduce, tell us what's going on, Bob. They got the Mr. Wayne County pageant this Saturday at the high school auditorium and Boys and Girls Club director Shelby's here. So, Shelby, I'll turn it over to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us again. We were able to come last week with a great group of guys, and we're here again with a couple of our contestants. And we are just ready. Big show on Saturday at Big 7 p.m. Show. Wayne County High School. Okay. Who do we have in here this week that we didn't have last week? All right. This week we have Kevin Brigman, Kevin. Jeremy Dent, okay. and Derek, Derek Williams. Okay. All right. Well, let's get the mic around to them. And let's move this mic there. And uh, on your mic, move it a little bit closer to you there. All right. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kevin Brigman. Uh, most of y'all know me as DJ Briggy. I also work out at Rainier. Uh, DJ Briggy, huh? All yes, right. Sir. <laughs> so tell us how you got involved in the Mr. Wayne County. Um, um, uh, what do we call it? Call the competition. 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 Okay. The pageant. We're we can't the call it a pageant. pageant. <laughs> no, no. Mr. Wayne County. Thank God they're not going off. Yeah, books. guys, we like competition. Yeah, yes, we don't want a pageant. Yeah, the, we want the Mr. Wayne County against. Wrestling Contest. We're all going to throw down. Um, I got involved the. Uh, I was contacted by Chris Hamilton. I said I was told my name had come up. We look at people that are involved in the community um, that kind of stand out and were wanting to help raise money. I always try to donate to charities and things of that nature. So I thought for a good cause and a great thing to do. Okay. So uh, what are you going to be doing for talent? Oh, I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. Please come out. It's my first time ever doing that. It's about a dream of my whole life. So I'm going to make you all laugh. You're going to do stand-up comedy. Now, who, who do you take your style from? My I mean, favorite current comedian is uh, Burt Kreischer. Uh, okay. That, uh, he's a very funny guy. That's one of my all favorite. Right, do you tell, are you going to tell stories? You have quick one, story two, telling. three. Storytelling. Storytelling. Story all right, storytelling. Not knock jokes. Okay, just, just <laughs> well, you got to follow you for a while. Huh? That's right. And then, then you'll get it right there at the end and laugh, right? That's correct. No quick thought. No, no Bob hope type of stuff you guys is going to be a storyteller <laughs> a few zingers in there i got a few zingers in there okay well that sounds like fun yes sir all right looking forward to it looking forward to it all right who's next well i'm jeremy dent <clears throat> i'm jeremy dent and i'm contestant number 11 number 11 has two number ones in it just in case <laughs> one of them didn't work <clears throat> so so uh, what do you do so um i own a uh, exterior cleaning business as most everyone knows it's the leading cleaning uh contractor in the southeast and um we clean a lot of properties, and I was also contacted by Chris Hamilton as well uh, for being in the Boys and Girls Club, and several. And I'd already been to several of these things in the past, and I thought, you know, what a cool way to raise money for the Boys and Girls Club. It's such a great cause. Okay, and your talent's going to be? Uh, not many people know this, so uh, I guess we might as well tell everybody now. But I plan on levitating on stage. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's that's now. Will we actually see you levitate, or will you, it just you, be you seeing yourself levitate? No, you'll you'll, okay. you'll you'll see levitation on stage. <laughs> that's got to be worth the price of admission, right there, oh, folks. That, that, that's not psychedelics to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. If we well, don't see it, or is it just going to be him? I think, I think Shelby's going to add more reserved seating and, and up the prices now that she knows this. <laughs> I mean, that's no, a huge yeah. this whole Kevin's going to levitate. levitate. All right. <laughs> that, that's the plan. Everything is hinging on my welder at this point. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's a little bit, there's a little bit more involved than just levitating. So, um, all right. 
but uh, I, I plan on I plan on putting on a good show, and um, I, I'm ready. I've got uh, everything's together. Um, my my um, my outfit of choice will be fishing, and um, Britches and Bows in downtown Jessup donated my clothes for that. So great, <laughs> great fishing gear. Um, so so I'm ready. I'm ready to do some fishing on stage as well. Some bows. Levitating fishing. <laughs> Oh, boy, sounds like this competition is going to be fun, Mr. Wayne County competition this Saturday. All right, let's move it on around. Introduce yourself. Uh, Derek Williams, FTK, for the kids. Um, I'll be representing <laughs> these all the fall. That's my, that's my thing this year is FTK. Okay, FTK, and I'm for the kids. Yep. And tell everyone what you do. Uh, I own D's Auto Spa. That's right, D's Auto Spa. New location? Yes, sir. New location right next door to uh, England's Collision Center. Okay, and what's your competition going to be? Well, I got a bunch. I got about eleven guys this year. We're going to be, I'm going to be competing against. But uh, uh, but you you know what you're going to be doing? I I don't know. Bob, let's see. I mean, uh, Butch, it's a toss up. I'm either going to light myself on fire or cut myself in half. I haven't quite decided <laughs> yet. You know, which one. you know, I got a. Now that I got the, you know, levitating gear, you got to you, you you up your game now. You got to up your game now. We got levitation going on. We got to up your game. Yeah, so that's a toss-up now, so I can't, I don't know yet. Well, that sounds like it's going to be very, very interesting. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. You looking forward to it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to it. Looking forward to it? Now, yeah. who, who got you involved? Uh, Shelby, believe Shelby it or not. Shelby did, yeah. Huh? Yeah. okay. She came up and hit me up about doing it, and I was, you know, kind of skeptical about it, but then when I put thought into where the boys club boys and girls club started and what it is now you know that's you know it's a great opportunity for us to come together raise some money because what they're doing is is awesome it is awesome and, um, boys and girls club to see them growing like that and if i can help out then you know by all means i'm, I'm glad to be a part of it so. okay well good all right do we have these guys back here all right the guys come on guns. All right, we have some awesome board members with us this morning, actually. Board members. Nick Ellis and Chris Hamilton, they co-chaired this event to put this on with Air Elliott. And this is kind of like the backbone of Mr. Wayne County, who's doing the back work, making it happen, keeping these guys in line. Because I can tell it's probably been a That's funny a task. They're <laughs> right, they're packing, they're ready. Um, you know, and we're just, we're just so thankful to have them on air with us and at the Boys and Girls Club as board members. Okay, Nick. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. All I right. just want to um, first thank you. Yeah, for really allowing there us you to go, Nick. Come on the show this morning. Um, really excited about this weekend and excited about all the guys that are participating. Um, when all these guys this morning um, committed to being a part of it, I knew we were about to have a good show. Um, they do a lot of good things um, in their own personal businesses. Mm -hmm. um, and so we thought it would be good to have them a part of this to help us raise money for the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. Um, not to mention Shelby does a good job um, at the Boys and Girls Club, and, and she really keeps us motivated from behind the scenes. So she talked about the behind the scenes work that um, Chris and air and I do she really does um, a lot um, but I just want to mention all of the contestants um, okay here. before we go to that now we've got this tape Shelby so when it comes up for your annual review we can play this back you know <laughs> <laughs> and one of the board members said this <laughs> That's right. Well, we'll give this to you. You can play it right there in the room. Here's the annual review. Here's what Nick said. All right, all the yeah. contestants. Um, so we have um, Miles Mosley, and he's going to be um, representing uh, Wayne County basketball. We have Commissioner James Boot Thomas, who's going to be representing the Wayne County commissioners. Um, we have Mr. Kevin Brigman, who's here with us this morning, and he's going to be representing Rainier Advanced Materials. Um, we have Jamie Knight, who's going to be representing Arthur Williams Middle School. Uh, Brandon Williams representing the Jessup Police Department, Cody Williams representing the Bone and Joint Institute, um, Andrew Wanoski, and he's going to be representing the law firm of Smith and Senator Blake Tillery, um, Jeremy Dent, who's with us, Dent Pressure Washing, uh, Derek Williams, who's with us, Dee's Auto Spa, Mayor Jason Weaver from the city of Scriven. Um, Nick Chow from Smart Physical Therapy, and we reveal one of our mystery contestants. Um, he's Ben Dumas, um, and he's going to be representing Iker's Pro Vinyl. Um, and so those are our contestants that will be a part, and they are looking forward to uh, giving you all a good show um, in Wayne County. Okay. Well, Chris, you all worked hard to put all this together, hadn't you? Um, it, it has been very hard. And at first, when we first started it, we were like, man, this is not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, it was just a short time, but... After this week's practice, these guys have really worked hard, and you can tell they've practiced at home, and it's going to be a good show. Okay. So y'all practice at home, guys, in addition to, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
be there for the opening number. I'm telling you, that's, be, gonna, that's right because that all is, of them going to be up there singing and dancing and their there top hats and canes and they, everything. Yeah, that's their group performance. And I, they, when and when I tell you from day one of practice and and to where they were on Sunday when we left, I like yes. These yeah, guys it's amazing it. how it all comes together right there in the last few days. They right? did a lot of practicing at home, and you can tell. But okay. they're re- they're going to really do a good number for us. Like right. a number. Sounds good. All right, uh, back to you. All right, now how can folks um, participate and come to the Mr. Wayne County competition? All right, folks can participate and come to the Wayne County, um, Mr. Wayne County competition by stopping by the club. Um, We are selling reserve tickets right now for $25 each. That's that front section, section one, two, and three, front um, part of the theater. They are $25. I don't know if I want to be there if some people are levitating and cutting themselves and catching themselves. You know, I'm not going to lie. Listen, I'm starting to think my ticket's too, but I'm sure they'll have it under control. It'll be safe. You know, setting ourselves on fire, fire marshal. I mean, we We'll, we'll have it. We'll, we'll prepare now. Okay. We got to check over our insurance policy again now, though. <laughs> but um, we are um, selling those tickets at twenty-five dollars. General admission right now are twenty dollars each. They will go up to twenty-five dollars at the door. So make sure that if you're wanting to come, general admission are twenty dollars each now, but they will be twenty-five dollars at the door on Saturday. Okay. So we are welcoming um, Wayne County to come and see these fine contestants. We are excited. Is it twelve total or thirteen yeah, with the mist? Another mystery. So 13 total fellows that are representing Wayne County, each doing such great things in the community. And like you said, the group dance, that's always been one of my favorite additions to Mr. Wayne County because they all come together and they're all from different dynamics. So it's just awesome to see them become one in a group number. Now, the Mr. Wayne County competition is held every two years, right? Correct. Yes, sir. And who's the current king? Justin Draldi is going to be handing over the crown. He is actually my pastor. And on Sunday while he was talking about on stage, I started noticing and, you know, his eyes was tearing up because it's it's a big deal to have this title. And, I mean, he's been carrying it on. And he actually, during his time as Mr. Wayne County, was able to adopt a classroom and totally redid um, our movie room for our teens. Good. Good. So, and the pageant is um, the competition's win? The competition will be Sorry about that, guys. this Saturday <laughs> at 7 p.m. All right. The competition is this Saturday starting at what time? 6.30 p.m., the doors open, but the um, competition will start at 7 p.m. So get so, there early. Get your good seat. Yep. Make sure, you know, you won't be in a fire zone or anything like that. <laughs> and we're, we're excited. I mean, they really, they put good effort towards, I mean, on Facebook, you should see them. See them. These three in particular have been Facebook living, and actually right now, one of them are doing, um, Mr. Jeremy Dent is doing a auction or a bidding with um, Ace Hardware for a fishing trip. Other ones are going ham with um, having their open to where you can donate. I mean, it's just, it's been incredible to see them utilize social media like they are in this competition. I've never are they, seen it Are they supposed to raise funds themselves or? People's choice. Oh, yeah. People's, People's choice, choice, choice is just whoever, like whoever Mr. Wayne County. has the most County. money donated to the, to that particular one. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. And, and we're excited to see them utilize social media because... They're going. Okay. They're utilizing it. They're doing it. Okay, and the uh, the tickets are available at the Boys and Girls Club. At the Boys and Girls Club, this is correct. And something else, we're also selling our fifty fifty raffle tickets right now that will be giving away ten thousand dollars at Mr. Wayne County Saturday at during probably the intermission. Okay, so um, ten that ten thousand dollar raffle that y'all been working on the last uh, That's seven correct. weeks. That's You'll correct. be ready to give away that ten thousand. We're getting ready. And uh, the Boys and Girls Club is located where in Jessup? 550 East Orange Street. We're right behind the police department. That's right. Just goes down Orange Street until it ends, and there you are. That's correct. We're the um, part of gold at the end of the rainbow. (laughs) Right right behind the uh, Jessup Police Department. That's correct. Yes, sir. But just go down Orange Street until it ends. Just go down Orange Street. Okay, and then you'll find the office there, Boys and Girls Club. Gentlemen, y'all looking forward to this competition? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fired up and ready to go. It's going to be great. Bob, questions, comments for our guys this morning? I just don't want Derek to set himself on fire because I don't see any firemen in the building. <laughs> he can cut himself in half. That'll be all right. That was a part time fireman. Oh, okay. That has That's to count good. for something. Okay. I was just concerned. I said, I'm going to set the place on fire. Uh, but it, it ought to be a bunch of fun. You know, we had a group of guys in last week, and they it, think of, they're just having fun. I mean, they're raising money for a great cause, but they're having fun, too. What's Commissioner Thomas's talent? That's he didn't tell us last week, did he? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's a mystery. We're not, mystery. We're not quite sure, um, you know, whatever it's going to be. I'm sure he's going to be one to beat. 
So we'll see. I don't know. We asked him last week, and he was. He's not going to sing Rocky Top, is he? <laughs> we, we'll find out. <laughs> be, find out. Time 7 p.m. Wayne County High School. He'll, he'll be booed off stage if he does that. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he's learned how to play the banjo in the last couple of weeks, and he's going to play sing Rocky Top, right? I wouldn't think so. He's got not. another talent, I'm sure. All right, go ahead. Um, get, I just wanted him. to kind of add in there, for those looking to add um, add to the Boys and Girls Club and donate a little money, you can go to my page, Jeremy M. Dent, on <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> And simply click the donate button and donate anything five to five hundred or even more. And if you need a if you need a receipt, write it off on taxes. Just let me know if it's if it's a substantial amount. All right, Thank you. all right, Jeremy. Yeah. All right, Dean too. While we're talking, uh, this is Derek at D's Auto Spa. There's also a donate button on the bottom of my page, and you can also <laughs> click and donate anywhere from one thousand to ten thousand dollars for a tax write off as well. Um, or five bucks. Or five bucks. Matter. Yeah, one dollar. That's fine. All proceeds go to the Boys and Girls Club. So every dollar counts. Every, every dollar, dollar counts. Shameless plugs. Um, I'm also selling raffle. Say tickets. who you are when you go. I'm ra I'm Kevin Brigman. I'm okay. raffling off on my Facebook page a Jeep bed, don't have a magic mattress, and I'm also selling the 50/50 raffle ticket. So if you want a chance to win ten thousand dollars for your donation, <laughs> you have a one in two hundred chance. Get hold of me. I'll take care of you. Oh, they're up in their game here. Let me tell you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> These guys are taking it serious. I'll tell you what, if you ever need like a comedy act for the Butch and Bob show, give these three guys a call. I'm sure they'll enjoy to come. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Just to talk about it, bring them in for sports. You know, let's just, let's just, just have some in, fun just with Have it. a good time. Go Bob. Nick? Serious. Can take around the Nick? Serious. All right. Sports are serious to Bob. We can't, that's not a joking matter. What's we, that? Sports. Sports, sports. Are serious to Bob. Yeah, <laughs> it is serious. <laughs> you can have fun with yeah. it, too. But, um, but also, um, as these guys have said, uh, donations are being accepted on each of these guys' Facebook pages. You can also drop off donations to the Boys and Girls Club. And if you would like to be an event sponsor, you can uh, contact Miss Shelby or contact uh, myself or Chris Helmsen. And we'll come by, and we will actually have you um, featured um, on our program and throughout the night as an event sponsor, if you would like to do that, um, to represent your local business. You are certainly welcome to do that, and we're looking forward to um, a few people already presenting themselves as event sponsors, so we're okay. accepting those. Event sponsor, uh, sponsor for the evening of the competition, yes. right? Okay. All right. Any final words from, uh, from Chris over here? Anything? Go ahead. I think we're good, and it's going to be a great night. Everybody okay. want, um, come out. Okay. Sounds good. Guys, y'all fired up, ready to go, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, Butch, I do want to uh, give a big shout-out to right, Derek, uh, go ahead. my momager, uh, Paola Williams. Um, <laughs> yeah. Whenever all this was started up, I told her, I was like, you know, this is going to be really hard to do. But she actually has helped me practice. She's come through all my uniforms, my outfits, my you know, cut myself in half. She was mainly excited about that. You know, the well, who's this in now? My wife. Your Taylor wife. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she I'm, said, "Where's the saw, honey?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, up my insurance, all that stuff. So she, uh, you know, I do want to give a big shout out to her and every other contestant, and probably, you know, I'm probably just speaking all the wives and everybody that's helped because it's been a lot. You know, it's uh, a lot of practice, a lot of time, and um, you know, doing it for a good cause. It's it's all gonna be worth it at the end of the day. So. Um, Give her a big shout out and tell her thank you if she's listening. So. All right, we got people who are going to levitate, maybe ca uh, cut the, ca catch themselves on fire, get cut in half. We got <laughs> comedy storytelling here, and uh, we just got all kinds of fun stuff going on. And that's just these guys. I mean, we have you got the rest of the guys are going to have all kinds of fun competition that what they're going to be doing. We have no idea what Boots going to do. No, we're, we're waiting for that. Grow you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to grow hair on his head. <laughs> Boot, uh, they just said that you're going to grow hair on your head on the stage. So that, that, that would be a miracle, wouldn't it? That would be some talent right there. <laughs> hair <growing>. Yeah, hair growing. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know we had such talent here in Wayne County. Let me tell you, it's something else. That's right. You know, we're going to start the night out with um, 13 contestants, but we'll probably end up with 14. I mean, I don't know if Derek's going to count as two once he gets <laughs> cut But, I mean, we're preparing for it. Uh, Derek came in first and third. <laughs> or first and last. Or first and last. <laughs> All right, guys. Good.
Good luck, and thank you so much for da donating so your much, time man. and your thank effort. You. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and having some fun on Saturday night, okay? Sorry, All right. Mr. Wayne County Competition this Saturday night. Doors open up at 6.30. Showtime at 7 o'clock. It's going to be at the Wayne County Auditorium of the Wayne County High School. And tickets are available at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, which is located right at the end of Orange Street behind the Jessup Police Department. Don't miss out on it. The world famous Butch and Bob Show.